and then you just hand it over. One mic, yeah. Just one mic uh, at the moment, and.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Foden for today's county final between Mallon and Urris. And coming today is myself, Callum Harley, with Urris's John Farron and Mallon's Pat McLaughlin. First of all, I'm going to shout out the winner of tonight's Honky Horn Bingo Lotto Books is Patricia and Michelle Crumlish. That bingo takes place at 6 p.m. tonight. And in Urris, the Honky Horn Bingo is on Tuesday at 7 p.m. in the Clamani. Community hall. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to hand you over to John Farron, who's going to give us a rundown on the Irish team. Sorry, Pat McLaughlin was the rundown on the Malin team first. Pat, what do you think for today? Um, <coughs> I would say the Malin team, um, Irish, by, by the sounds of it, would be the stronger team here this, after this morning. Um, very experienced team throughout. Um, so that Mallon were a fairly young side as well. They defeated Red Hughes last week in the semi-final and uh, I suppose one thing you could say is they're a gutsy team that they came back from seven, seven or eight points down and uh, it was a great result in the end up so we chose their guts for it. Pat, who are we looking out for today in the Mallon team to take Mallon over the line? Well, I suppose you have to say right away that the Mallon have the, the county senior keeper here, Aoife McColgan, which is as a good strong point for the club here, right, and f full back at Tara Kelly. Played a great game there last week. And uh, their midfield of uh, Breda Doherty and Mariah Doherty inspires them on. And, and then that uh, pushes on. And Emer Lafferty in the full forward. And then I suppose one of their main players is. Uh, is she there today? Is she? Or is she there today? As. Uh, as Tara O'Connor in the forward line as well. Cheers to that, Pat. I'll just read out the Mallon team now. Number one, Aoife McColgan. Number two, Anya McColgan. Number three, Tara Kelly. Number four, Laura McGeoghan. Number five, Sophie Murphy. Six, Daniel Houghton. Seven, Kevin Swivney. In the middle of the field is Breda Doherty and Maria Doherty. Number ten is Maria's sister, Neve. Number eleven, Caitlin Monigal. Number twelve, Tara O'Connor. Thirteen, Emer Lafferty. Fourteen, Francis McDonald. And fifteen, Courtney O'Connor. And on the substitution bench is 16, Siobhan Farron, 17, Kate McCallion, Kira McLaughlin, Kerry Stevens, and Rachel Harkin. Management today is Martin McCaughan, Neil McGilloway, Leo O'Neill and Fran Monigal. I'm going to hand you over here to John Farron, who's going to give us a wee rundown on the Irish team first. Uh, we're looking at a very strong centre line up from Golib up. Uh, Neve Kelly at full backs, uh, stalwart in the team. Nicole Gordon leads from captain, centre half back. Uh, county player, former Val player, loads of experience there. Midfield, Cathy Doherty and Sir Chafarin have been playing together probably since under 12. Uh, Lauren Cregan is a brilliant playmaker at centre half forward and Kira Duffy at full forward. Uh, proved it worth last week. She scored two great goals against McCools. <coughs> Oris come, <in, coughs> excuse me, Oris come into the game unbeaten. Uh, their first outing was against McCools. They beat them out in straight. Probably their worst performance, but still scored 3 7. Uh, comfortable one over Muff away. And then Kilcar at home. Beat McCools last week in the semi final. And um, big improvement. They, they sort of steamrolled McCools, to be honest. Uh, they'll be looking towards uh, Nicole Gordon to lead from centre half back. Um, brilliant motivator on the, at centre half back. Team captain and a brilliant gear to get back to the club this year. Cheers to that, John. Uh, not long to do a throw in, so I'll read out the Irish team. Number one, Fiona Doherty. Number two, Jacqueline Duffy. Number three, Neve Kelly. Number four, Amy Porter. Number five, Anya Bradley. Number six, Nicole Gordon. Number seven, Aoife Hans. And in the middle of the field, Saoirse Farron, along with Cathy Doherty. Number 10, Caitlin Devlin. Number 11, Lauren Cregan. Number 12, Kiva Doherty. Number 13, Zoe McCarran. Full forward, Kira Duffy. 15, in the corner, is Amy McCarran. On the bench today, is Kiva Devlin, Jenna Harkin. Alana Doherty, Ella Devlin, Sosha Hessian, Laura Devlin, Eve Grant, Theresa Deary, Caitlin McDade, Orla Lagan, Rosanna mcconnell Logue, Eveen Toland, Daisy Clark and Anya McLaughlin. And the management is manager Susan McCarran with her mentors Danny Kelly, Nicola Lagan, Anne-Marie McCall. The teams are in the huddle now. It shouldn't be long, I'd say, with about one, maybe two minutes not a bad old lady, John. What do you think? Nice. I see Paddy McGonagall here repping it. We've had Paddy repping a few times this year. Very fair man, Moncrana man. Uh, Dermot Coggins on the line. I don't know who the other lines man is. Uh, 
Dann zu Foto Nö. Sei. And today's statistical analysis is Liam Mooney, who will come in at half time. I think the we ring at the wrong team. Are we alright? Do you think? Sorry, an adjustment to that team. Aaron Falara is playing, so you can breathe again, Mountain fans. You can breathe again. I would say definitely that will make a massive difference to the Mountain team. What do you reckon, Pat? Aaron Falara, great player. I was down. Thinks she had six or seven goals. The minor game the one night I was down. Ah, she has. Uh, she played well last week. Now against Red Hughes as well, and uh, she's done very well in the minor league as well for Mountain. So she's a big addition as well. Very young as well and very talented. Yeah. Gordon her up, Nicole Gordon versus Aaron Falara, I would imagine today. So that is the thing. I just want to remind you again: in the red corner is John Farren, and in the blue corner is Pat McLaughlin. No spitting, no punching, or no biting, boys. <laughs> That's for Pat's benefit, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's our side. Ours playing up the field, playing right to left. Once again, I would say, if Ours is to prevail today, I would imagine Nicole Gordon, Lauren Cregan, and probably Sears of Farron in the middle of the field will have to stand up, be strong, and do it. In the middle of the field for Malin is Breda Bryan and Maria Doherty. That's four, four tall girls anyways in the middle of the field. John, I'd say, did they bring... Who's the tallest? I would say, Saoirse definitely brought the height from the other side, did she? <laughs> keep it country, Pat, keep it country. <laughs> we've, once again, we've earned for Larrup, number 11 there. She will definitely be vital for Mal on the day. Just want to remind you that today's game is brought to you by Super Value Karen Dunna, Kenny and Doherty, and... McFeely's off license, Clamani. And today's main official is Paddy McGonigal. Ball stolen on. Breda Brown to Maria Doherty wants a break. Mal won the break up the field. Heading towards the 45. I was about to shout off the ground, but. Oris <laughs> won the ball, turn over here to fire. Stacey Farron boots around to the full forward. Kira Duffy on the ball, off. Back to Lauren Craig and Lauren Craig and forward. Plays into the corner forward. Aoife McCall comes out, gathers. Spells. 45. F free out, free out, free out. Good defending there by Oris. Up the field, chance maybe Lauren Craig maybe could have shot there. Maria Doherty on the ball, playing out to the back, boots her up the field towards Aaron Falara. Cut out by Cole Gordon. Once again, that's the, the Cole v. Aaron today. The Cole Gordon up the field, Aaron Falara chasing. Chance to shoot, I put her wide. Once again, John, I would say it's the main battle of the day is Aaron v. Nicole, what do you think? Absolutely, absolutely. Nicole's so far on top, but early days yet. Yeah, early days yet. Pat is she's wearing the trademark for Lara White Socks, what do you think? <laughs> That's I. She'll be have her hands full today with that number six as well, and uh, Nicole Gordon. Very fast. Eve boots out. Peter Bryan. Wants her. Spells her. Tackled. Well done there, Burris. Ball turned over. Lauren Craigan through speed. Just in the 21. Shoots the sheet. Chops. Through goal, goal, oh, just wide of the, just, just onto the side net and be in McCarran. Good bit of play there by Urs. Ball lost in the middle of the field by Breda Bryan. And turned over Lauren Craig, but a speed forward and Eamon McCarran just shoots wide of the goal. Urs, we need to make a seriously pressure play, I think. We need to get some scores out of it. Ball kicked out, one by, one by Ray Doherty. Just. Sorry. 
it into the corner forward and free out. Free conceded there, Bearers. There's the Cole in the ball. Tackled by. Once again, getting chased by Ray Doherty. Through. And the first score of the game comes through the Cole Garden. Irish lead by one point. Good score there. Once again, Oris put the pressure on. Tackle Mallon and Nicole Gordon. Pivotal as usual up the field and over the bar. John? Danny, Danny Kelly shouting instructions from the far side. He's telling Oris Garrett to stay wide in the wings. They're, they're obviously fearful of this big kick out. Pressure on from Oris to start, Mallon. How, 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 how is Mallon going to deal with that there, Pat? Uh, well, they'll have to close off the middle now as well. Oris now started very strongly and... They're breaking right down the middle, Lord and Cregan and uh, Gordon have caused Mal a lot of problems so far. Wide ball there by Lauren Cregan. Mal need to get the ball up to the rest half, I'd imagine. They need to test out a few of the Dorothy Nets. It's favouring Norris at the moment. Keith right, McCulgan looking up, kicking her out. Heading for Breda Bryan. Caught up in the cold garden. So for Murphy in the ball. Cut out. Edwards in the cold garden again. Aaron Folara. Battle. Slapped and free in. Free in. But the 45 played forward by Denny over the bar and to Ethan McCulgan's hands. Ethan McCulgan looking up, kicking her out. Aim for Aaron for Lara. Aaron for Lara, gather upright. Mal on the attack now. Up to the first half for the first time. That's Kate McCallion on the ball. Locking up. Coming towards the 45, past the 45. And to the D. Played through. Eamor Lafferty on the ball. Well cut it. Well cut up if you're on the Doherty. And up to this year, so it's a good good to get her back if you're on the Doherty playing with Moncrana. So That's good keeping there now. Kathy Doherty on the ball, out the field, over towards the Oris dugout. Well cut out. And it was Oris hold on to it. Played up the field, Ashley Devlin on the ball. She's playing well. Well done. Ah. Cut it by Terry Kelly. Questionable free kick. Free kick in the middle. 21. Played the advantage, sorry, from the Malin dugout. Morris worked, coped well with that first atta Malin attack, I think. Fiona Doherty did well in that, so that's a good sign. Free kick taken. And, and the mixer. Well, good hands there by Terry Kelly, is it? Ethan McCulgan on a free kick. Back in the goal line. Played short. Spilled. Up. Booted up for Breda Doherty. Up for Laura McGeoghan. Cut out again. Nicole Gordon in the ball. Coming up to the 45. Shot. Cathy Doherty wide. Sears of Farron, sorry, wide. You just suck out over the bar, John, what do you reckon? Oh, I think so, I think so, but anyway, so say no. I'd imagine you went for goal there. <laughs> I there's a few chances there wide, well, could prove vital. I think that's four wide. So now they've had. Yeah. Early on, but... Leif McCulgan kicks out again. <coughs> Aims towards Sophie Murphy. Sophie Murphy gathers over to Malin dugout. Which draws in for Lara once again. Nicole Gordon. Nicole's like the grass is all over the field, John. Oh, unbelievable. Right now, she's just ruling the wrist there. She's ruling the wrist. She really is. <laughs> She'll be talking to the girls non stop, telling them where to be and who to pick up and what position to get into. Great leader. Great woman to have on the team. Hitlin Devlin. Played on Tara Kelly. Cuts her out. Up the field. Takes on Keira Duffy. Francis McDonald in the ball. Aaron Folara. Neve Doherty. 
Aoife Haas cuts her out. Aoife Laffley on the ball. Up the field. Aoife Laffley again. Sophie Murphy on the ball now. Sophie Murphy looks up, she's coming to the centre. Let's the ball on to Aaron Fuldara. Aaron has it. She releases off to Tyro Connor. Tyro Connor back to Aaron McGlaw Aaron Fuldara. Aaron kicks and free in for Mallon. So it was a good tight even game so far. Or is missing them chances now and they've held out rightly now, Mallon. They're under pressure and the full back line held out well during that period. So free on the thirteen. Sorry, twenty one. 20. Aaron Falara kicks. Hands a level game. It's a level game. Just over 10 miles gone. And a level game. One score each. Nairs is definitely showing in this. Big time, big time. I think those early misses of ours are kind of unsettled them a bit, but still the early days, early days. As Neve Kelly now come out carrying the ball out. Well done, Neve. That's Danny's daughter, mother's a Glengad woman too, of course. Good on you, Cathy. Cathy's, a, Cathy's probably at her best year so far. She scored some brilliant points. Well done there, all Lauren Craigan. Yeah, oh, this could be one. Should be one. That's a point. Lovely, lovely. Good move. Well started there by Fiona and Nets. Found Neve Kelly short and played it down. Great score, great score. Well deserved. Score is ours two, Mal one. 11 points. Point score, Kira Duffy. Kira Duffy and Nicole Gordon sharing the points for us. Donny Gall, goalkeeper Ethan McCulgan, bits her out towards the Mallon dugout. Towards Francis Monigal. Francis McDonald. That's the manager's daughter. Great score, that's Zoe, that's Susan's daughter. Brilliant score, Zoe, well done, well done. That's Aris the lead with three points, Malin's one. Zoe McCarran will score. Just over about 13 minutes gone. Just when he's, have you seen here, boys? What you, what's your opinion on the whole no fan situation? Oh, it's disgusting, I think. I mean, God almighty, this a local derby match like this, you've got a couple of hundred people in here, social distance, no problem whatsoever. And it's been great for people's mental health as well as their physical health. Uh, it's embarrassing. Embarrassing. Ah, but at least you can lie in bed today and watch the match. <laughs> Get the kettle boiled. Yeah. Will That's Kiva, Kiva Doherty, Kiva McFeely, her mother proudly sponsored or helped sponsor this match for us. Uh, McFeely's pub, James the Butcher, the Malin Bay. I suppose the father's a cut half man, Malin catchment area, but she got the football from her side of the house. Well, he's on about side of the houses, but it's good to note them out of girls from the Malin Paris that are mothers and that are from the Malin area. So, Maras have got a great start to their careers with that. You're looking at Lola, Lola Kelly and uh, A and other. I <laughs> know, <laughs> boys. I know, boys. Easy on, easy on. Nicole Gordon up the field, tackle by Aaron Falara. <laughs> Keep already shoots and she sprays wide of the bar. Yeah, one mistake Oris don't want to make is leave the ball too short into the goalie's hands because she'll start play from goalkeeper out. So they want to put, either put it over the bar or put it dead. Don't leave it in the goalie's arms. Just in case you didn't hear me earlier on, the winners of the bingo books tonight at 6pm in Malin are Patricia and Michelle Crumlish. Well done. Just <laughs> knock at the door number 44. <laughs> Two fat ladies. Is that clickety click or idiot? <laughs> Plumber at the door, number 24. John Hope knows his home. Um, 
but an SRP is beside everything you say. <laughs> Do you remember what SRP stands for even? I doubt it very much. <laughs> that was good horse pressure there, forcing uh, Maria to kick the ball out over the line. Sideline ball, who should have been Oh! Amy McCarron on the ball. Up to, up to the Mallon 21. Tara Kelly on the ball. Kicks her out. Straight down, Cathy Doherty. Well done, Cathy Doherty again. The ball. Shoots, is she? Still in play. Zoe McCarron in the ball. Just hand behind you from McCaldin's goal. By Cathy, I think she just got overexcited, but still she's playing well. She's had a good start around midfield here. Uh, her sister, Mary, call out to Mary, should be at this match. Mary is flipping one of her best footballers, but she's considering her soccer career with Derry City at the minute, Pat. Like that will not please you too much. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say nothing. Mm. Say nothing to hear more, and when you hear more, say less. Out the field. Keeping the swelling in the ball. Partner at Mountain, your captain, Gary Farn. Yeah. there, boys. Yeah. Call out. Yeah. Leave Kelly. Call out. Erin's a wee bit hesitant today, Pat. Do you think she's a bit. She has been overshadowed a bit so far by uh, Gordon, who's at the halfback, and Neve Kelly nipped on there ahead of her as well. Oh. That's the way. That should be another score, or having their shooting boots today at all. But. But disappointing. What are we off? We've three points up, have we? Yeah. I uh, wish really should be double that. I think. Sick. Yeah. Mm. Malin just need to settle down. Score still lies. Or is three. Malin won. Yeah. And the Malin scores from a free kick, so they haven't scored from play yet. Malin seem to be. They're having the Emer Lafferty's going back into the half back line, and so they're leaving only two forwards up on side. Emer Lafferty has actually been impressive in the middle end area. Sophie Murphy on the ball now. Murphy gives it on to Emer Lafferty. Emer drops it. Oh, Not two or three fouls in a row there committed by Malin around midfield. They're just struggling around the middle. They, they just can't get their hands on clean ball. Nicole's looking in for Zoe again. Great ball. Bounce feature. Here's Duffy again. Oh, lovely. Zoe's on the ball. Back of the net. Ah, oh, Zoe. That should be over the bar. Too many wides. Too many wides. I was going to this year game the first half and it was settled only the ball is just going right and left the bar. That's Eve from McCoggins. Like it dead. Must be her eighth or ninth kick out. Water break on now. <laughs> Just bring you here to Lee Mooney. It'll give us a wee rundown on the first 15 minutes. Well, in that first quarter, Aris dominated with three, their three points to one up. Um, Mallon have struggled to get going so far, but Urs have made a very strong start. So hopefully Mallon will make a, st a stronger goal at this at the next quarter. Um, Anya McCoggan, Ethan McCoggan, and Phil Darv each won one free kick, and Tara Kelly's won two turnovers, with Danielle Houghton winning one. Um, there's um, Mallon have won three free kicks altogether and conceded one with um, a turnover free and Mallon have won 70% of their kickouts in that first quarter um, and have a score a, a, well, from their one free kick they've scored it through Aaron Fildera um, back to Callum here Cheers to that Liam back into the boys here We're up in the co-op lorry Boys, what do you think of that first water break? I think Aris have kind of dominated a wee bit so far, John. Thoughts? Uh, oh, definitely. It should be further ahead. Uh, disappointing their scoring. They're, firstly, they're, they're taking the option, maybe going from too far out. Secondly, leaving it short, leaving it wide. But you know what? They'll get better. And uh, they're, they're definitely lording down the middle. That, that back, that spine that Aris have, Pat and we were just chatting about there, it's, it's strong and it's 
I think so far we have to say Nicole Gordon's won in the Battle of the Air in Fildara, but early days. Pat, what's Malin going to do to turn this over? No, it's not much in it, but it's a tight game. Well, they have to try and get the ball till the forward line. We haven't really seen them yet much. They've, they've moved the ball once or twice up there, and they have sort of the beating off the two cornerbacks if they can get them up there, you know, but they haven't moved it fast enough yet to get it in. But um, I think it'll come. They were slow start as the last couple of games as well, so hopefully now maybe they can try and pick it up a bit here now in the second quarter. Cheers to that. It is just back out again. Score lies. Or is three points, Malin one point. Patrick, any thoughts? Um, yeah, I've been a very um dominant half for hours, you know, as um it was been said there, you know, maybe they might be annoyed at the end of the game about the rides might cost them later on, I guess, but definitely I think um Nicole Gordon's really bossing it on the half back line, really giving up there, but Cheers that Patrick, Patrick Shark here, GEA zone. Fallen son, Keith McCoggan kicks her out. Man's keeping this, wasn't it? Through the brain. Up, out, turned over by Urs once again. Turned over beneath Kelly. Kathy Doherty. Picks her up. Gives her to Caitlin Devlin. One by Malin, is it? No. Nicole Gordon again. Shit. To Lauren Craig and Lauren Craig shoots. And white again. Do combination there, Lauren and Nicole have been used playing together for a long time. They they always seem to find each other, but uh, no end product this time either. Hope he's all going into YouTube. No bother. One click. Who's down? Number seven from Mal Keeping this suddenly. She's all right, I think. Assault, I'm sure, after this. I think she came from Carrick Macross and Mon Monaghan. So, uh, we bought on no players at all. We didn't, we didn't, uh, when the transfer window opened, the goalkeeper's a Norris woman. Just, just so happened that for five years, Norris didn't have a team, so she played, played in Mokrana. But no, I don't think we've any, didn't enter the transfer market at all. All homegrown produce. I'd say it's just as well, boys, but a 16 stone man, I'm used to, boys. You're down to 16. Well done, Cal. <laughs> Ethan McCulgan out so, towards Sophie Murphy. Sophie Murphy gathers Lauren Craig and down. Turned over Lauren Craig and the ball again. Cut out Pekiva again. Breed up up the line. 45. Kicks her. Cut out beef of hands. Chase on by Neve, Doherty, sister Maria on after La Lauren, Lauren Craig on the ball. The field, Cathy on, Doherty on the ball. Freaking seated by Mallon. Eva Hand's been solid there so far, cut out everything, come anywhere near. Free taken by Cathy Doherty. And hand up, caught out by Mallon. Francis McDonald free. Sorry, Emer Lafley, his numbers are wrong, but we're singing off the wrong ham sheet about today. Emer Lafley, Emer Lafley dropping back from full forward and sweeping. I'd say whoever goes to the team sheet today is taking the. Taking a hand out of it. Cathy Doherty. Into the corner, into Keir Duffy. Keir Duffy on the ball. Spells. That's Zoe. Again, Zoe's left the ball short. Mortal son. You can't you can't throw up the goalie's arms because she can distribute the ball. Although commentators course she's put it out over the line. Oh, that's a Go on, Jackie. 
Don't fight our jacket. Don't fight our jacket. No, again, they're Oris and Klein to their shot options. They can shoot from too far out. Tara's on a great run. Fair play to Tara, yep. Up the middle, we're presuming. Good break. The Oris seem to have pulled Kiva back a bit. As Amy Porter and Amy was injured for the last game. Nicole, lovely. Great combination football here. They're really finding their players. Lovely. Cathy to get on. Sergio, let's go. Who's she looking for? She's looking for Cathy. Back again. One solo and over the bar. OMG. Unlucky, unlucky. OMG. Um, I suppose Malin are under pressure here, but you have to be you have to give it to their defensive line and their goalkeeper there. They've held they've hold it, held out here rightly. They're not just orders, they're not just kicking the ways, they've been forced to kick them. So they're a very gutsy team as well. You know, they've come twice from big been down six or seven points in the last couple of games to come. We have a bo botheration here for Zoe McGarren, the sideline. Good, good player, over the bar. She's down the ground, what, what do you reckon, John? Won't you be all right? I saw her getting some attention there, funny, during the water break. The rest of the girls were in a huddle and I saw her down as Mary Margaret, or physio. So she seems to be in some kind of trouble now, I don't know. Yeah, or is she making a sub? It looks like, I think that's Caitlin McDade from here. It's very hard to tell, but it looks like Caitlin McDade, is it? No, it's Alana Tim. Alana Tim. Alana came on the last, she scored a brilliant point. She, she got injured, taking it, but... Uh, Alana and her sister Tara is actually on the injury list as well, but Alana's a great wee flyer. She gets the ball, she knows where the she knows where the posts are. That's unfortunate for Zoe. I'm sure her mother, the manager's concerned for her, but Boris can carry on. Keep her left. Ball played up the field. Maria Doherty. Up to Tara O'Connor's in the ball. Kicks. Cut out. And the hands of Neve. Doherty. Up the field, coming towards the 21. Shooting range, spills. And again in the hands. Shooting range. Tackle once again. Tara O'Connor again. Tara O'Connor going through in the 21 yard line. She lifts it up. Neve yes. Kelly dispossesses her. Aoife hands now in the ball. Ball clear beat. Cole Gordon, Gordon and Sophie Murphy come, cuts loose and she cuts coming down at centre half back position for Mallon. Laying the ball off inside, the ball's intercepted by uh, Laura Cregan. Laura Cregan for Aris, breaking forward on the 45. Great ball, there's Alana now. Well done, Alana. Yeah. No. Emer Lafferty Brooks. Oh, and Bar. Oh my god, oh my god, from five meters out, unlucky Jackie, unlucky. Or clear enough, I should say. Or will rue these misses, I doubt. Hof hopefully not, says John. Many ways you have now, Pat, we've had. If you'd have turned out on the scores, the game would be over, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Could be long left this half. That's sort of the first time we've seen Sophie Murphy carry the ball out, Pat, right? Her distribution wasn't great, but she's a strong player. Oh, she is, aye. She's very young as well. I think she's only 16 or something for Mallon, and she's, she definitely broke forward great there. She could have got a chance to lay it off. Well, again, Sophie Murphy on the ball again. She looks up, lays it off to Brita Doherty. Back in the evening, well intercepted now by Amy. McCarn. Just want to give a shout out to Marion Collins who's watching the game of the, the day in the USA. Where else are we watching from today? Don't be afraid to send the message into our Facebook page. What time should we be in Boston, Pat? Must be half five in the morning, is it? It must be, aye. Uh, half five, six o'clock, is it? Aye, half six. I better give a shout out to my own kids too. <coughs> Shane's in Canada, Danielle's in Australia, and Kayla's in Belfast, so all hoping to it as well here today. Good hand on. Up the hearse. Or is it pulled Kiva McFeely or Kiva Doherty back for some reason? I don't know why. And she seems, she seems to be now picking up Aaron, whereas Nicole is gone. But the room there for Nicole to play. Tara Connor on the ball. Aoife Hans tackling. Down towards the corner, shoots she? Shooting into the mixer. 
Oh, great catch here for Lara. Go. Oh, good save, Fiona. Shoots now. And over the bar. Over the bar. A bit of a disagreement to the two umpires, referee umpire. Has it that score or is it not? I didn't think myself it was a score. I can see Darren McCoggan is in contact with Paddy. It seems to me like it was a wide ball. The whole horse bench seemed to shout wide. So we've got a glimpse there of what Aaron Fildara can do. Brilliant catch altogether. Brilliant turn. Great save by Fiona. Number 11 plucking it out of the heaven. Aaron Fildara. Great catch. Shoot it on goal. Wide ball is the decision. Score still lies. Three. Or it's three. Man and one. God bless Hawkeye, huh? God bless Hawkeye. Wide. Played Fiona straight to the Malin player. Courtney O'Connor. Through Breda Doherty. Breda Doherty lets it in. Taking now be number five, Emma Bradley. Emma Bradley won it. Take it out. Aoife Hatt. Cassie Doherty now in the field, coming up the right hand side. But up the last five minutes, hasn't it, Pat? Yeah, it is now. And now, Oris now are breaking fast here now. But Tara Kelly, Tara Kelly coming out once again from Allen, but she drops it. Balls in sight. Yes. Amy, it's a score there. Yeah. Scored ours, ours live four, Malin one. No more than they deserve, I think, to be honest. On the, on the balance of play, ours have kept the ball to that end for long periods. Uh, but then like the game could have turned. That ball of Aaron Fidalis could end up in the back of the net. How could I? I'll still dispute that point there. I think it was a good point by Malin. So. I think the umpires might have got it wrong there, you know. I think you've got a bad point there because it wasn't a point, Pat. No, no, boys. No, no, boys. Ethan McCall played the Breed of Doherty. Breed of Doherty. Up at her 45. Kicks towards Aaron Falara. Aaron Falara wants it. Tackle by Kiva McFeely. Kiva seems to be picking up Aaron for whatever reason. Where, where have Oris moved Nicole to? Or are they just using her to sweep, maybe? Is that it? Aye. The goal garden up to Lauren, fellow Isla Doian, I love Do Ian. Sears of Farn down, play out from Mallon, out sideline balls at Doris. Sideline ball, there is Aoife hands on the ball. Ball in hand. But Argy Bargy there, John? I think Paddy made a, missed a free kick there, but uh, he's, he's been doing very well so far, I have to say. Paddy's a fair fair man. One crown, of course, but of Karen Origins. We've seen him a lot of time out in straight. Good, good, honest guy. Yep. Do you bother much of the referee now, John? No, I, uh, that we scared. I had a couple of years ago, kind of put the humour of referee off me, to be honest. So I'm actually... Uh, I'm a ref's advisor now, as Sean Paul says, I've moved to the dark side, so I get, to, I get to check out how Sean Fanny and these kind of boys think they can ref how they're doing, give them scores out of 10, so, aye, oh, there's, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about, leaving the ball in the goalie's arms, worst place you could leave it, worst place you could leave it, she'll play it out from here now, look, yep. Mal on the ball, playing out, past the 20, Sophie Murphy. Kiva on the ball. Once again towards Aaron Fuller. Aaron Fuller through. Chance on now. Tara Connor on the ball. Through. Through and goal, is she? Well done. Well cut out. Free conceded by hers. Score dies 4 1. Chance to bring him within two. Couldn't be long to half time. Aaron Fuller score. Bring him, bring him within two now. Shout out to Martin Edwards. who's watching the Letter Kenny today. Pat, what's your thoughts on Martin Edwards? Oh, he's doing a fine. He comes from a fine, fine family now and has doing a good job. <laughs> Mariah Doherty, Mariah, slightly pushed in the back. Sears of Farron on it now. We know where she learned that from. And Farron goes down. Down for Mariah, certainly, she certainly retaliated anyway. Yeah. yeah. There's Nicole. I, I was happier, to be honest, when Nicole was on. Um, I was happier when. Uh, Nicole was on Aaron Fildara. Aaron seems to get a bit more space now that it's... Oh, jeekers! Another wide. How many times? How many times? 11. Well, maybe 12. 
Liam and the old farmers to half time, don't worry. Oh, he did it all down, will he? Well, he's a good stats man, I'll tell you what, he, he keeps up to speed with the match and follows a whole lot. Great man to have on the great man to have on the bench here, keeping an eye on who's doing well and who's doing badly. Liam landed here today at 10 59 and he's uh, two teams down and he's everything up to speed. Fair play to Liam. I think the train from Allen Head was running late this morning. They were saying there was delays in the underground, and that's possibly what happened to them, I think. I thought myself it was a helicopter. I could hear a helicopter. I didn't know what it was. Ah, that was my wife sitting in the lunch. She's sitting in the lunch. What, Juno or Hammer? Ah, it'll be just, uh, what's today, Sunday? Oh, it'll be Juno on a Sunday. <laughs> that's what's watching your lunch box today. Friday's lunch, John reckons. <laughs> Once again today we're brought to you by Canny and Doherty, Supervisor Luke Karen Donna and McFeely's Bar Off Licence, Clamani. If you're heading to work tomorrow and you want to follow Lunchbox, don't be afraid to pop into Supervisor Luke Karen Donna where you can get good grub. Is it early on this Sunday? Yeah. Just stood out. Uh, Nicole Gordon's one on one, one on one, one on one. Oh, jeez. Go to get around. Must be a penalty, ref. Oh, jeez. That wasn't a penalty. McCulgan. Great save from McCulgan. From McCulgan. Great save B from McCulgan there now. Super save by the county keeper. Showing their skills there. Despite claims for penalties. Not at all. Great save. Showing the county stripes there. Great save from Nicole. Our fellow county player, Nicole Gordon. Nicole Gordon should have put that in the back of the net. Big time. The onion bag was shouting for the ball. Gordon up. Morris have moved. Nicole Gordon more up now. And she's definitely more of a threat up there now. But then again, it's leaving things open here at the back. Malin's attacking now. Breda Doherty. Breda Doherty lets it in. The fault. Neve Kelly. Well taken by Neve Kelly. But now it's intercepted. Comes back out the field again. Saoirse Farn. Saoirse Farn. Aoife Hans. Aoife Hans has it. Aoife's overstepped. But she's in there. Aoife. Eva comes from great pedigree. Her father, Frank, I'm sure, was one of the prominent Doris players over the years. Great block by Malin again. I think Frank played bingo. I think that is. Much. I don't think he played too much for Doris, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Sorry. Ball in. Tara Kelly cuts it out. Spills. Shoots. And great save once again. Eva McCorgan keeping Malin in the game. Sophie Murphy got that one, sorry. That was goal bound. We have who down? Sophie Murphy, that was a great block. I thought that was Ethan McCaughan, but the cameraman was on my way. I think she got that one in the stomach, was it? One of the defenders, Sophie Murphy, got her in the it's well worth it though. Definitely cut out a goal. Nancy, she took one for the team there, all right. Great stuff. I'm going to take you down here to Liam, mate. Liam, analysis on the first half, what do you think? Thoughts? Um, well, Oris have made a very strong start with um, to the half, and if, um, if there's a couple of scores, they'd be pulled away from the game, probably game over, but as oh. things stand. Yes. And it's a goal to Oris. A goal to Oris. Just as I speak, there is a goal to Oris, and they're, as I say, a very strong start, and... Malin are going to have a lot of work to do to get back into this for the second. Keevan McFeely, she caught out the Aoife McCoggan there. Went for a point in the back of the net. Has won four to Malin's two points. Liam will see it half time. Have some goal there, John. It was uh, uh, totally unexpected. We, we weren't uh, weren't expecting the goal threat to come from Keevan McFeely, to be honest with you, but she took it well. Top corner. I don't think it was a goalish mistake. I think the ball was just well placed in the top corner. There wasn't much you could do about it. I'll tell you what, it's, it's, a, it's a true reflection on the dominance that Oris have shown in this match. Great time too for him just before half time. Knocks the stuffing out of Malin a wee bit, maybe. You couldn't say it was against the run of play, but I think Oris got what they deserved eventually. 
from from a neutral point of view, I thought she was point point bound leaving the boot. What do you reckon, Pat? That was uh, it's very uncharacteristic of uh, Eve had to let something and it just got on over her head there. So it's a good break for Urs now. You know, it's put them in a commanding sort of a lead now. That's five points to the good for Urs at half time. They could have more. I think Malin will one happy with what the scoreline is, but they'll not be happy with what Urs are doing. Urs are playing well. Once again, we're brought to you today by Super Valley Karen Donna, Candy and Doherty, and McFeely's Bar, Clonma McFeely's Off License, Clamani. Once again, we're done here to leave Manu, who's going to anal analyse the first half statistically. Two seconds, I get down this here, Laurie. First of all, Well, we'll talk to a man that's more neutral than me, maybe Paddy Mooney might analyse the first half. What do you reckon, Paddy? Oh, look. Paddy Mooney, Karen Dunn, GAA. Um, it's been a good first half. Probably Irish are probably showing the stronger team. They've had a lot of ways, but Malin's come back into it as the, as the half's gone on there. Um, luck to be fairly sharp on side. Malin, when they get the, get the ball on side, there are a couple of good goal chances there. So, like, they're on the game, that, that kind of fortuitous goal towards the end, they kind of cut... Aoife off guard, she came off the line just and the ball kind of dipped under her, but I say it's, 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 it's 1-4 to, to 2 points, so there's nothing in it. I say Mound, a couple of real good goal chances, so they hang on here, anything can happen, you know. Pitch is looking well today, it looks a wee bit heavy, a bit of rain was there last night? Uh, well, there's probably a good cover of grass on it, does it but there's not much of a bounce in the ball, so it'll, as the game goes on, probably the gears will tire a bit and I say that'll create more chances. If you get Aaron and we, um, Tara O'Connor in the ball more, you know, they, they, both of them look dangerous going forward, so anything could happen. Had you a game this week, weekend, Paddy? Yeah, well, there's Ayers played against Bunkrano last night. Um, good tight game. Bunkrano run out runners by six points in the end up, but it's in the melting pot right to the end. And our seniors are home now in the last round of the junior championship game, home to Pedigo here at three o'clock today. So hopefully, on their form, they're on the month, they should be able to get won that game, and um, that should get us a, a home quarter final, hopefully. There's a few good players there. James Manning will be a good player. Connor McCormick, can see him back. Yeah, Connor's back. He's back from America, and it's a good addition. Like, say, obviously, Connor played county county minor level, so there's a bit of quality there. And, like, and there's three or four boys in that team now of all of it on the underage county experience, so that's helping bulk up the thing a bit. So, no, they're in a good run to it, and if we can stay injury free, you know, the um, junior championship could, could give it a good rattle, hopefully. Cheers, for that, Paddy. We're going to give it to Liam Mooney here now. He's going to provide us with a bit of stats. He's all like to hear stats. Bring you out here. Yep. Yeah. So as I was saying, Urus dominated the half and are one four to two points up. The two points from Allen came from two Aaron Fuldara free kicks. Um so from Allen in the first half, Tara Kelly won three turnovers with Sophie Murphy making one crucial intercept goal line clearance at the end of the half to prevent a goal just before the goal for Urus went in. Um, Malin ladies won eighty-two percent of their um, kickouts in the first half, with um, with Urus um, winning all their kickouts so far. Um, so uh, Malin have scored two from fr two free kicks, um, um, with with a score efficiency from Urus have a score efficiency from play of thirty-one percent. Um, and that, uh, so as so, be the second half now. Malin only needs a big b turnaround in their performance, um, to get back in this. But Urus, as things stand, are playing very well and should be winning this. Great stats, Liam. What do you think? What's what's your head saying for the second half? Can Malin come back? Who will they be looking to? Do you think? I think they'll be looking to get the ball back, to get the ball to up to the forwards as much as possible. That they're just a little bit slow, I think, in getting the ball out from the defence. But I think I think they'll put in a stronger performance in the second half, and hopefully they'll get back into it. Um, but it's a lot of work to do, as I say. But hopefully, Liam says, hopefully, hopefully, Malin can back into it once again. For the second week, we'll go for the Patrick Sharkey of GEA. So, Patrick, what do you reckon? 
Uh, yeah, uh, ours might have got more chances, but Malin have definitely been taking them better in a way, and I think that's, you know, if you get at least 10 wides in the first half, that's going to cost ours dearly, and, you know, especially at some of the talent, you know, Malin have on the bench can definitely make an impact, and, you know, for the second week running, I'm going to predict Malin to see out the game and win it. Good stuff, says Pat. John, these are, these are five points ahead. Are you happy? I'm not happy. We should be further ahead, but... I can't, I can't see how Malin can win this game. Well, if Malin won this game, it'll be Oris losing it, to be honest, because Oris have dominated from day one. I think, I mean, even a neutral observer like yourself <laughs> can see that, that it's uh, Oris have definitely dominated. Um, scoring has been a bit of a problem, but uh, I think the girls get their shooting bits on in the second half and get it sorted. Paddy, you must be getting a few rads fitted what? during the week, are you? <laughs> Pat McLaughlin plumbing. Over now to Pat. Pat, what do you think for the second half? Five points down. Should be more. It was a 12 wide we had. Tw er, what do you think? Well, I suppose it's a place I haven't been for such a long time here. A lot, a lot of years since I've seen an Oris team ahead of a Malin team. Is that in the back of a lorry longing to go up? <laughs> <laughs> so it is, you know, but uh, definitely am. No, I'd be fairly proud of how Malin's held out here. They've held out and there was just a slight mistake. They should only have been two points behind there. And I think they're very nervous starters as well. They're very young, a lot younger than them, so... Listen, my Oris are the stronger team here, but Malin are definitely a credit here so far. They're holding out as long as they can, you know. Pat, we have Boston tuning on again, we see. We're going overseas, we're going overseas. We're expanding, what do you think? Certainly, <laughs> who's in there now? John, you did a stop in Boston too, did you? Uh, it was over a couple of wee holidays. I used to get a, an old visitor's visa there for now and again. It was lovely. Um, Trump put out the call, didn't he say, we make America great, so I, I did my bit for him, but... <laughs> Those days are over now, yeah. It's going, they're going to have to manage themselves from here on in. Well, I'm just talking about the two teams there. I mean, it's terrific to see uh, two clubs getting two good, strong ladies' panels out. I mean, it's five years since Oris competed at ladies' level. Malin, probably less so, was it, Pat? Maybe three or four years? Uh, another thing I'd have to say, too, is that the amount of work, for example, that, let's say, um, Denise McCarran and Maria Fanny do up at the school, I mean, practically, I would say 99% of that team have come through have come through the ranks of the school and it's, it's down to the work that the girls do up at the school. So it's uh, you know, fair play to them. It goes, a lot of, sorry, a lot of it goes unseen, but, and these girls are buddies too. They've played on school teams together and now they're playing against each other. But to see them out playing ball, it's mighty. Just a pity their parents, brothers, sisters couldn't be here. Uh, nearly embarrassing, Pat. Oh, it is. It's heartbreaking, you know. But it's great to see as well the amount of work was done this last few years in all the clubs about had on their 8s and 10s and 12s and that to the girls. Like, so it has been coming along good and it's great to see they're a great part of clubs, you know. And they bring a lot to the club as well when they're in it. So. That halftime show was brought to you by Scanny Dirty, Super Valley, Karen Donna and McFeely's off license, Clan Manny. How are you enjoying your retirement, John? Uh, so far, so good, I have to say. I, 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 I took a Tuesday off there uh, three weeks ago, but aye, busy. Keeping her lit, keeping her lit. Yeah. Not so bad. How's, what's home and away in neighbours like? Uh, the, the plot's kind of, they're kind of predictable at this stage. There's countdown, countdown, I miss countdown in the afternoon. But What's Phil Mitchell at these days? Is he still up to his badness? <laughs> I, I don't watch those English soaps now. <laughs> As my daddy used to say, I watch fair shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Malin won the break, well, Malin won the throw in. Free in, free up for Malin. Free to Doherty in the ball. There's a Brian Doherty. Brian Doherty, sorry, in the ball. No. I read his name now. You know his name. You know that white gum shield anywhere. That's your taste, Joe. No, 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 no. These girls are all wearing gum shields. They're 74, 70 always. Malin threw in goal. Threw in goal. Shoots. And a goal to Malin. That's a great goal by Tara O'Connor. Our father Robert will be very proud down there. But that was a great goal. Probably one of the best goals I've seen all year. Come in from the right hand side and shot with her left foot. Now it's game on. Game on, Malin. Two points in the game. Great goal. That day one was heading for the goal once it left the foot. Colour Powers. Put it up the field towards Lauren Cregan. And the goal guard Sophie Murphy cuts the ball out. Marlon definitely out. The stronger team so far in the, first, in the second half. Definitely. It's a great start now by Marlon. Tyro Connor again but it's intercepted here now by Jackie Doherty at cornerback for Oris. She lets the ball out now. But it's... Gordon. Cole Garden up the field. Yeah, it's opening up for it's opening up for 
It's opening up. She's away for the one, two. Oh, gee, Kiva dropped it. There's kind of a bit of dilly dallying going on here. Good defending there. Good score, Nicole. Good, good reply. Good reply. I have to say, Malin took the goal super well. Brilliant goal. Uh, Tara, that's probably the first we've seen of Tara in the whole match. But uh, brilliant goal. Brilliant goal. Good reply by Ursa after the goal. Just want to let you know, stick here after the game with us. There's a presentation after the game, the cup. Interview with Brian Dolan, Assistant Secretary of Donegal LGFA Board, after the presentation. I'll present with that. Malin back up the field. Shoots, and just wide. It's end end stuff now so far. That is, uh, these bottom goals seem to be hard to score, and that's Malin probably have a two wides there. And the... Uh, it seems to be easier to score to these top goals, but we'll see how it pans out. The wind has dropped again. You can see the flags are hanging very limp. Um, no, Oris just needed that point to settle themselves again. That was a Malin really came out f flying there in the second half. Good to see Sophie Murphy got over her injury there, but she was injured before half time. But it was her. She's kind of she's kind of dominating here at centre half back again. Free to Oris up the field. So keep it already in the ball. Goal score for ours, Kiva Doherty, free kick in the hand, up the field, kicks, Kitlin Devlin on the ball, well done Kiva, Maria Doherty on the ball, up the field number 8, Aaron Folara, that's who you want on the ball, taking on Sasha Farron, Sergio Farron concedes the free kick across the field. Malin now coming. Neve Dirty score on as her. Sets herself, shoots, slips, foul, does she? Wide ball. No foul. Yeah, I think I, think I would have given a free pat, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, but again, a, a wide ball, that bottom end. We've, we've had more wides that bottom end than Pat's had hot dinners. Um. Would there be a problem then? Posts, I don't know. I think they're lying to the left. I'll tell you one thing, I wouldn't ask Pat. <laughs> <laughs> the radiators, he thinks. It's the level, it's not bad. <laughs> Water finds its own level, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bit of dirty cutting out there. I think John was on there about being he spending his time in America there, but I think that one of the statements of Donald Trump was he would make America work, and that ended John's trips to America. <laughs> <laughs> She's heating up in the blue corner. Yep. Yep. Caitlin Devlin shoots yeah, straight into the hands of Eva. Yes, that's what Oris don't want to do, is leave it in the flipping goalie's arms. Mike can fairly cover the ground. Monagle. Caitlin Monagle has it now. Caitlin lays it off to Nishiva. She comes back to Monaghan woman, lets it in now to Emer Lafferty. Emer Lafferty's in the centre half forward position, going towards the Karen end goal. She springs left. She wings back to the right foot. Emer Lafferty with it again. And Emer Lafferty's slightly wide. Chance for Malin there to bring it both on two once again. However, it's been a cracking second half so far. Yeah, Malin have, Malin have probably had more of the play in this, the first 10 minutes of the second half than they had in the whole match. They've definitely come out with a different attitude the second half, or have Oris relaxed, it's very hard to say. I'm just wondering, is there something up with Nicole Gordon when they're playing her out on the left half-forward position there? It seems to me like she's, she's a central player, whatever's going on. There's Aaron again, that's the player we don't want to have the ball. You can see why she just... Oh, good. Ah, in the back, yeah. In the back. Freedom Allen to bring it one-two again. The score at the minute is one, is it one? Oh gee. That's wide, that's very wide. Wide once again. Pink boots, that's the first time they let her down today, Pat. Yeah, but Kate McCallion now has made a big difference. She's really kicked, come into this game here now and she made the difference against Red Hughes last week. She's only about 16 years of age as well, I think. And She's cut off the same cloth as Aaron. Good speed. So Aaron has boots there before the match. That's, Aaron, that's Pat's boots that Aaron's actually wearing there. They're very distinctive. I, I, I know them from years ago. I know, boys. Cerise Pink, was that what they call them, Pat? <laughs> Pat's boots of steel toes. Oh, 
Irish breaking out. Once again, I want to tell you to stay after the game with the presentation of the cup. And then that review was the assistant the goal secretary. Lauren Craig on the ball, speed on her side. Sophie Murphy cuts it out. That's a good wee battle we have there, Sophie Murphy and Lauren Craig. Definitely. And, and do you know what? Since half time, Sophie's actually won in that battle, I have to say. But here we are in the game. There's Kathy. She's got help. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. Unfortunate for Mal. Unfortunate. Kathy was going for a point there. Unfortunately, I ended up in the back of the net. But still, I'm sure Ours will take it. Ours will take all these scores. Probably two fortunate goals now, Pat. Ours' goal scorer should definitely do a quick back tonight. Well cut out by Ours. Kathy Dirty with the goal. Aiming for the point back in the net. Cutting Ethan McCoggan out. Nicole Gordon on the ball. Coming through. Dragged down. Possible black yellow. What is it? Yeah, it could be sunburn time here, I'm thinking. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The Monaghan came out near there, I think. Yellow card. Yellow card. Yeah. We twirl there with the yellow card. Yeah, kind of. I think he, he could get continuity time in the boxing ring. I think he's kind of. Oh, that was for the cameras. He's getting. It's strictly come dancing. The three judges up here. I'm giving him a four. What are you giving him? <laughs> well, it's just out of five or out of ten. I think he's had a great game, Paddy. To be honest, Paddy's very fair. He's very fair. And, and, and it's a dance, I'm a little bit. Or oh, the, <laughs> the pirouette. I probably. Yeah. Well. I well, he's probably his dancing days are behind him. <laughs> he's dancing. I would say, John, you're making a lot of enemies today. <laughs> I know. As Pat knows, it takes two to tango. There's Sophie, and again, we said she's having a brilliant second half altogether. Pat, maybe that wallop she got the first half woke her up. Do you think? Breaks it in now. Kathy Doherty now, isn't it? Not to go with his arms, Kathy. Not to go with his arms. Ethan McCulgan has it. Or just seems to have made a sub there. They've taken on uh, Kitlin Devlin in place of uh, Kira Duffy, the full forward. But she's had very little service. I see her wearing a knee bandage here. Do you see her, Callum? I see that. Mm -hmm. Tara coming up the feet. She's hitting Tara O'Connor with her right foot. She's intercepted. Neve Kelly has stopped her. Tara O'Connor again. Tara O'Connor has it and puts it over the bars. A great score for Tara O'Connor. Back, back then, two goals. I, I, we definitely can't slate Eve from McCulgan. They were just under the post. Under the crossbar. Under the crossbar. Aye. She just very little she could do about them, to be honest. Tara O'Connor's come out. Had a great second half as well, Pat. She's, she's soloing in there with her right and she's kicking with her left. It's great to see. Feeling dirty the ball out. Well cut out beneath the Nicole Gordon. Great hands there. She'll be looking for Lauren Craigan, almost guaranteed she'll look for Lauren Craigan. Lauren should drift wide. Lauren's gonna drift wide. Told you. Yeah, just surprised Nicole didn't go for the one two. Ah, that's a good score. That's a good score. That's the Ludo one two. And that's worked. That's been working all season. Brilliant stuff. Lilo do one two. Score. Score update. Uh two six to two six one three. Well cut out Baron Flara. Erin Fildara has it on now. She's on the man 45. She's breaking forward at the halfway line. Erin Fildara breaking in now into the RS 45. She looks right. She kicks from her right foot and puts it over a bar. Great score. Great, Great score, Erin Fildara. White socks, the pink boots over the bar. Yeah. Great score. 26, 1, 1, 5, 1, 4. 2 6 to 1 4. 2 6 to 1 4. Must be nearly water break time, is it, boys? What's another five points once again? Yeah. That, that far as Dora's goal, they might have pulled away a bit, but they're finding it hard to score in these top ends as well. So. The game's definitely changed the complexity in the second half, end to end stuff. It was all kind of in the first half, and Malin kind of equaled her up. Cathy Dory up the ball. Alana Doherty cutting her out. Kicks to Nicole Gordon. Nicole Gordon on the ball to Lauren Craig. And Nyla do 1 2. Nyla do 1 2 3. 
Settles herself. Lana Doherty shoots. And she's over the back. Score, Alana. Well done. Yeah, we should mention Alana's dad. Uh, sponsor these jerseys, Jetta Transport, uh, Thomas Tam down there in Tulla, so fair play to Thomas. Well done, great stuff, Alana. Unfortunately, like I said before, that Erin's not playing, her sister has, um, was having a great year and then she had a flipping ankle injury and a knee injury on top of that. So, In fact, there's a lot of, we should have a lot of sister combinations here, the two Tams, that'll be Alana and um, Erin. Uh, you've got the Kiva, Kiva Devlin, Caitlin Devlin, and you've got the Duffy Gairds, uh, Kira and Jackie. So there's a fair number of fair number of siblings playing here in the team. And I, keep, I mentioned before, sorry, Kathy Doherty, sibling Mary should be here. Mary, if you're watching this, get your ah, uh, get your leg out, Doris, and get get playing ball. Doris on the ball, cut out. Caitlin Monigal has it now. Caitlin Monigal on the ball. Fan Monigal's daughter. Caitlin on the ball, give it to Aaron Falara. Aaron Falara. Side foot pass. Out the right half forward. Right half forward and Neve Dirty on the ball. Takes her time. Back to Tyrell Connor. The goal scorer shoots. And good save, Fiona Dirty. Tyrell Connor looking for a second goal. Cut out well by Fiona Dirty. Out Lauren Crate. No. Sersha. Oh. Decapitated. She up, she's up. Uh, she's made a hard stuff that woman. Yeah, there's no malice, no malice. I don't think Erin would do that deliberately. She's a clean player. Up to Caitlin Devlin, Caitlin number 10. Up the field. Now Kiva Devlin, she didn't get the ball into her. Cut out well by Sophie Murphy. Caitlin Monigal on the ball, back to Sophie, Monigal. Sophie Murphy. Kicks up the Aaron Flyer once again. Well cut out by Kiva Doherty. Kiva Doherty towards the sideline. Caitlin Devlin. Gathers her. Caitlin Monigal cuts it out once again. That's a nice wee battle we have there, isn't it? Some good matchups here. Some very good one on ones. Free kick to, to Malin. Caitlin Monigal will be Danny McCulgan's granddaughter. What was Danny like as a footballer? <laughs> well, I'm sure our grand would be fairly proud of her the day here, and he was now. Things are a lot quieter here without him, and he was, that's for sure. Towards the goal, down the keeper's hands. Down the keeper's throat. Played out by Urris. Spelled, is it? Where's the keeper? Keeper's off the goal line. Free kick in. Yeah, on her knees when she picked that ball up. You can't pick the ball up when you're on your knees, obviously, so... Or is wanting to make a sub here. Looks like uh, Caitlin Devlin's in trouble. Number ten. Caitlin Devlin. Signaling for a sub, is she? Where's the water break? We get back there to Liam Mooney. Heading towards our stats man. We just want to remind you that getting there in Flara's great auntie is, is watching and figured. Where's figured? Figured that's how to do. That's how to do. Back down here now to Liam Mooney. I didn't question my geography there. Back down here to Mooney for the few stats. Yes, at um, at uh, half midway point of the second half, it's um, Malin ladies one five, Urs ladies two seven. Malin made a very strong start to the half with a goal from Tara O'Connor, a brilliant goal it was too, and then followed by a goal from Urs from far from far out, as um. But in the second half, the game's been far more end-to-end -end with more goal chances and plenty of goal mouth action. Um, um, so, Aaron Fuldares took on the most shots of five, followed by Nee Doherty with three and Tara O'Connor with two. Um, Tara Kelly is one of three turnovers um, with Sophie Murphy with two. And Sophie Murphy also got that interception for the goal at the end of the first half. Um, 
Malone have won 82% of their kickouts. Um, 82% of their kickouts in the first half, and the second half they've won 50%. Out of uh, from two kickouts, Earth's ladies have had w- have won sixty six percent of their kickouts in the second half. Um, and Malin ladies have a score efficiency of thirty three percent. Um, uh, from in the whole game, and have a score efficiency from freeze of of a hundred percent. Um, back to Callum here for the final part of the match. Cheers, Liam. Well, I just want to ask you. Question I was talking to your man there. What's uh, Aris's score efficiency from points? Do you have it? Just be interesting to know. Oh, yes. Um, Aris have a score efficiency from po- from play of um, 42%. Um, and th- for, so that's p- pretty s- strong, but the, the Malin, hopefully, the Wides will come back to haunt Aris. Aris but. Um, so uh, being exciting now into the game. Cheers that Liam, we'll see you, see you at full time. John, 41, 44% score efficiency for us. 44%, I'd say the two goals kind of help that out. I would say Patrick Sharkey's words of Malin getting into the game definitely helped. He called her right. That's another man probably should do the quick back tonight. Up here, um, Jenna Harkin, number 20, is on. As uh, some we were saying there before the break, Kitlin Devlin seems to have gone off. I know Kitlin struggles sometimes with her asthma. So that's another Aura sub here. <laughs> we'll expect the Malin average, scoring average, to increase dramatically here. Half our time out in our house, Pat. Whatever's wrong, does she not? She's not doing the dishes at home or what? Yeah. Spots are nicer out there. Game quieting down. Now the water break, I can of course settle down the game a wee bit. That's not a good thing, I don't think. For my dirty, what? The fuzz goes on. Malin sent Thor and Ninoch McGillagoddy. Maria has it. She's played her heart out here today for Malin as well, you know. She really hasn't, she really has. Maria's definitely a credit to Malin GAA. She does a lot of work there. Call out by the Cole Garden. What hands? Looking for the do one too, is she? I'm just looking. And at full forward, this could be the back line. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, forgive me. Sorry, pardon me. Sent sword. Sent sword. No, she's just a bit rusty. A bit rusty, hasn't. Hasn't, contrain, hasn't trained as consistently as some of the gears, but I mean, that should have been back in the night. That was wee bums. Um, what? I mean, Nicole Gordon, Pat, a senior player, be happy catching a ball to get out of there. Uh, she's a great the solo in of her right foot, left foot solo as she after she won the ball there. She, it's a damn yeah. bad weight. Bad weight. I think Nicole Gordon could walk into that first team. First team. Men's. Uh, no comment. David Hastings down below me here, so I don't want to say that. Lovely. What a, what a morning. I'm a bit fatigued as coat off. No, don't have got coat off. You have a. That's going over the line. It's going over the line. Go over the line. Good, Jenna. Good, Jenna. That's what I'm saying. That's Jenna Harkin. She came on sub there. Jenna's only 16. Courtney O'Connor on the ball. Free kick out. The fact he's played. Ray is spruced up. Kicks her. Kathy Doherty on the ball. Spells her straight to. I don't know, someone was straight in her eyes there, just seemed to come out of the clouds. Out to the Malin, dug out. Malin, Naive Doherty on the attack. Is she going to. Cuts inside. Cuts back out, sprays inside. And to. Ah, oh, cut it once again by ours. Kathy Doherty, good hands. Emer Laffrey on the ball. Plenty of room, plenty of time. Back having the path, they seem to have. Huh? Kind of withdrawn into their shell here. Oh! She did all the hard work done. Still in play. It is. 
That's eat for hands. Anya Bradley. Anya, don't go across your own net. No, it's unusual for Anya to make a mistake like that. Out for a arbitrary. I found out, kick her out. Mal make another sub, are they not? That's a Mal sub. Who's coming on there, Pat? That's key. She's just crossing the field there. You've got the three blade. You've got the three blade mice up on that tiller here. Sophie Murphy on the ball. Taking on Lauren Craigan. Beats Lauren Craigan. Give it on the ball. Emer Lafferty off there in Falara. That's who you want in the ball there. Shoots. That's another good save there, Fiona. Good hands. Maria Doherty. Emer Lafferty shoots. Back on the head, does she? Oh, good save once again. Aaron, Aaron Falara shoots. Wide ball. That's a good goalkeeper between them there, Sticks. Sure is. Oh, she did it very well there. Sharp shooter. Yeah, she. Uh Gained a lot of experience playing senior football with Bunkran over the last couple of years, so that's the kind of player you want at a time like this. We're just under the cosh of it at the minute, I don't know what's going on. Seems to have drawn into her own half. And forward line's not as slick as it was, but ah, we'll get out of this sticky patch. You're not saying Bunkran is where she learned her trade, are you, John? No, she, she just, what would you say, she just uh, honed, her, honed her skills up there for a couple of years. Playing, playing senior football makes a wide difference. I mean, you're playing at a different standard. It bounds you good. Here we go now, here's Amy on the ball. I'm hoping, bend Amy, good gear. Good gear. Yes, looking for Nicole. Again, she's our go to player. Yep. Caitlin. Go on, Jana. Or Alana. Oh, you can't pick it off the ground, Alana. Oh, sorry. Can't, you can't be on your knees. Can't pick the ball off the ground when you're on your knees. You just got caught there. Malin played the ball out to Emer Lafferty. Emer Lafferty's played. In, is it not field? She must be playing somewhere now. Sophie Murphy on the ball. Aaron Flair. Oh, suicidal ball. Stevens after Aaron. Pleasure. Goal chance on. Shoots. Ah, oh, oh, post and wide. Unlucky, unforced. It. That's that's that that they don't post one now in between it today. That, that post down there doesn't want anything to go over the bar, I don't think. Emer Lafferty. Emer Lafferty just hitting the the post and wide. That's a hard goal to score in the late path. Seems to be, yeah, a lot of them we've had masses there now and a lot of misses there now, Malin, definitely. Couldn't be long left now, what do we say, but seven minutes maybe. It's right well since I was down there with Liam, so. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. White. Who was the last one to get through that? Was that here, I think? Maybe it was a bat? Don't know. Another let off for others there. I have to say, we're a bit, we but uh, bring it on ourselves here. We just can't get out of our own half. If you remember in the first half, the ball was the ball never left the, the mound half. So we need to get out of here and get a score and settle ourselves. Ara seem to be panicking now, but here she goes now. Liz Gordon. Nicole Gordon's moving up here now. Serious so firing. There's Shafarin lays it back. Nicole Gordon again. Nicole Gordon to Cathy Doherty. Cathy Doherty now on the mound. 45. She breaks. Yeah, here's Cathy coming all the way. Great score. Cathy's been doing that all year. That's when she's had her best year yet. That's, a, that's the score we needed there. Definitely. Great score. What's that score now, Pat? 2-8 uh, to Oris. 1-4 to Malin. With 180 people watching. I think you're tuning in, I'm not too sure, it's probably about early in the morning, but Pat's just mentioned there, James the Mull, who is in, what's his son, no, Florida, he's in, just a shout out to James the Mull, cheers for tuning in, James. Shots on, Lana, shots on, shots on, Lana Doherty through and goal, shoots, over the bar, over the bar. You talked about the same team as James the Mull, Pat, a few times, didn't you? And that die a special word for James there. He's tuned down to all the Mallon games his last few weeks there and uh, 
a lot of years ago since he played for Malin when he moved to Florida, so it's great to see him. He still keeps in contact with the club. He's be very proud of his nephew this last couple of weeks in goal for Malin as well. Emer Lafferty now in the Malin 45. Malin, senior men's, Drew Glenn Colin Kellaway in, in the quarter final of the championship. They're making the long run, the longest run. And Ireland between two clubs, Glenn Colin Keller, Malin, Tara Connors are in goal. <sighs> Taking the free. John, what's the score now? 2 9 1 5, 2 9 1 5. Just, Oris just keeping ahead here. You feel that if Malin's going to get back in the game, they're going to need a goal. If anybody who's going to get it's going to be Aaron or Aaron for Dara. So Oris, I noticed now, have lined their goals. The last one was just sneaking under the crossbar. So will Aaron go for a goal here? Hard to say. Yeah, she did. And she got back of the net for Malin. What a goal. What a goal. Goal mouth credit. What a goal. 2 8, 2 4 now. 2 5. 2 5. 2 5 to 2 9. Lauren Craig and chasing the ball. Half there's Caitlin Monigal. Plays a bit of soccer. Off the Atlanta Dirty. On the attack, just after the goal. Point would be nice. Oh! Yes! No, that was a goal. That was a goal. Well done, well done, Amy McCarran. And again, Alana Tim has made a huge contribution since he's come on. I'm sure her brother and sister out in Australia will both be watching this. They'll be happy with that. Mighty proud, mighty. Well done, Wheeler. Great, great reply to the Malin goal by ours. Amy McCarn catching Eve out, top corner, no saving that. We had a perfect view of it from here too, we, just, we could see it going into the top corner. The minute I left her boot was only going one place. Yep. Yeah. I think I think ours can see it out from here now, to be honest. Three, two, four. There's two goals on her now, is there? I would say. Call out Eamon Lafferty, taking on Lauren Craigan. Cassie <laughs> Doherty on the ball, coming to the mat. Eve Hans up from the back. Stuth to Kiva. Sasha Fine on the ball, coming through the middle. Chase Piquet Piquet Through the legs. Corner ball, can he see it? Courtney O'Connor. Devlin on the ball, shoots. Is it a goal? That's over the bar. Great point. Great point, Amy McCarran. And again, those two young forwards, they've made a huge difference in the, in the on this wing here. Uh, Jenna Harkin and Alana Tam, those girls, I think, would they be on, they're probably under 16 this year, I think. Mighty. 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 Whatever the outcome of the day, it's been a cracking game. Two great displays with the, third, with the two teams. I'm played, in great, played in a great sporting manner too. I don't think there's been one... I don't think anybody's argued with the ref. I don't think anybody's argued with their opponent. I don't think there's been a crossword. It's been mighty. Yeah. Oh, there's about four minutes left. I'm going to ask the two men to think hard and long about who's their player of the game. I'm going to ask Pat, I'm going to ask John, and I'll have the deciding vote. Lauren Craigan shoots. Yes. Lauren Craigan yes. gets score. Others have great speed coming through the middle there. Yeah, a bit more com they're a bit more comfortable right now. I think Malin are tiring to be honest. I mean they, they put on a great burst to go back to within a goal there and they're just I think the I think they're just feeling it tough now at the minute. And that's a huge pitch out here in Malin or in Cairn. Looking lovely too, Pat, pitching something. Oh, of course it's looking lovely, because you're looking across at the Malin Parry, so why wouldn't it look lovely, you know? Last point. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the ball. Nicole Gordon. Lauren Craigan. Nicole with her left foot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 That's the kind of that's the kind of style they were playing with all year, and as John Canny out in Dunaff would say, he always called it panache. They've a certain playing with a certain panache at the minute. We're going to have two separate player of the games today. We'll have one for us, and we'll have one for Malin. And the Mal, and the Kenny Nordy supervisor Karen Donna, Malin GA player of the game. Pat, what do you think? There might be two or three. 
Ah, the but I'd be very impressed for Malin here now, you know. Um, Emer Lafferty, I thought, had a great game for Malin. She drove them on there as well. Maria Doherty in midfield there. And uh, Caitlin Monagal, uh, Sophie Murphy. So very proud of the Malin team here, even though um, Laura McGeoy in there now. Laura had a good game as well. Let's just forward again. It's intercepted now by uh, Eva Doherty. Over to John now for the Mephilius Bayer off license. First GA player of the game. Then we'll get, we'll get an overall player of the game then in two seconds. Oh, that's okay. And well, I, th I thought Cathy was majestic around the middle. Cathy Doherty. I know she's playing through an injury. She was limping on Thursday night. Cathy around midfield. She two beautiful points there. Lauren Cregan was mighty in the first half. Kept in check of you by Sophie Murphy in the second half, I think. Uh, in defence, Neve Kelly, full back, was flipping a stalwart. Fiona and goals was very good. Um, Kiva McFeely, Kiva Doherty was has marshalled Aaron Fildara well and that's no easy job but uh, I mean for me Nicole Gordon was just flipping way above anything else out there right today she was just some of her fielding her decision making her tackling her positional sense her link up play I mean it's just it's it's a beauty it's a beauty behold. I think the three of us can agree that Nicole Gordon is definitely today's player of the game well done Nicole Conceded a free there in the right place at the right time, slowed the thing down. Experience hard to beat. I think today we have to look out for the one on one battles. There's been some great battles. I think that battle there between Lauren Cregan and, and Sophie Murphy has been deadly. Uh, I suppose people somewhere have to give a mention to Fiona Doherty and the, and the goals here for Oris as well. During that period when Malin went on top, she was the one that pulled off three crucial saves. That's a score for Malin there now. Tyro Connor on our. Tara Connor's been scoring well today. Oh, she has. She's showed and she's both footed as well, which is a great skill to watch coming in there and her right foot and then once again and kicking over with her left foot, you know. That was a great goal she scored. Oh, it was. Best goal of the, one of the best goals of the season. Most doubt about it. Couldn't be long left here now. Fiona Dirty with the ball in the hand. Fiona Dirty's been on the rail today, I thought. Yeah, great. Yes, very good. That's the game over. Horace won the game. Final score is. Final score is Horace 3 12, Malin 3 9, is it? Or 2 6, 2 6, sorry. Some noise coming from the Horace bench, Al game. Well done, Horace. And here now for the presentation. We're going to ask your man Brian Dolan, he wants an interview, so um, I'd like to thank Pat. And John today, and Danny is doing the reports. John, good to have you in. Thanks very much, Callum. So I hope we do it again sometime. Please God, it's uh, mighty to see um, a local derby going well. Just a pity we hadn't spectators here, but uh, as I say, you can see what it means to the Oris girls. Commiserations to the the Malin girls. They put up, a, they really put up a great battle. Um, even McCall going to see her going across there. Tara Kelly. Uh, the the, the Doherty sisters in the middle there were great, weren't they? Neve and oh, they, they were really good. Mariah, um, no, it's, it's it's great for it's great for the two clubs. I have to say, just a pity parents couldn't be here, brothers, sisters. But I see big Liam O'Neill coming over to congratulate Danny Kelly. Um, again, them, those boys would have played against each other in the past. Uh, mighty, mighty, yep. And the Oris girls naturally delighted. These these girls did put in a huge effort all year. I have to say. Uh, Nicola Lagan, Anne-Marie O'Donnell, Susan McCarran, Danny have had them out. There's been nights out there, they've been 33, 34, 35 girls out. If the men could, if the men could follow their example, uh, I'd be more than pleased. I see Paddy walking towards us here. Paddy had a fair game, to be honest. Made a good job of it. Uh, Dermot Cock, I don't know who this other linesman is, we'll have to find out. Uh, we probably should wish Paddy all the best, should we, Pat? What do you think? Well done, Paddy. Well done, guys. Well done to Paddy. Pat? Um, Malin were lucky today, but as I say, it was a great game. It's good that they can all walk off the field now, and they're all great buddies. And chance you could have shared over the house tonight or whatever. But Pat, what do you reckon? Oh, oh we we'll get a wee word a minute here before he goes. We we'll get a wee word here a minute first before he goes. I hope he's all staying in because there's a, an interview with Brian Dolan, the assistant secretary of the the Gaul LGFA after the game. Liam Mooney with a bit of 
Stats run down to the game, Liam. Sorry, Liam, over here, look. We'll get a wee word from Nicole Gordon before we go to Liam. Nicole! 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 Gordon! Nicole! Gordon! Well, we were the, ma or the woman of the match here, Nicole Gordon. Well, if you pick Gordon, then we go to Liam Mooney. Nicole, you won the player of the game, voted by Michelle, John Farn, and Pat. Congratulations, great one. Oh. Thanks, Callum. <laughs> Thanks very much. What do you want me to say? Thank you, Gerd's brilliant match. Even with Tamal and Gibraltar. Gerd's probably one of the hardest matches we've ever played, and we'll, we'll admit that there. We didn't. We knew it wasn't going to be easy coming down into Cairn for all of us, especially with no spectators. But there was definitely some great one-on-one -on -one battles today. I thought uh, Sophie Murphy and Lauren Craig was a great battle, but I think the main battle was John Farron versus Pat yeah. McLaughlin in the thing. Who won? Who won? Have we anyone else wants to say a wee word? We have 200 people watching us here. We'll bring, the, we'll bring the manager. We'll bring the manager in here for a wee word before the presentation. Over here now to the manager of the Thursday. I think my heart's going to stop. <laughs> I'm camera shy, do you not know? I just want to say thanks to a great bunch of girls. Because it doesn't matter what me and Danny done or Amory or Nicola behind the scene. It was up to you. It's a great turnout of training. These were a pleasure to coach. <laughs> These were just wonderful. I am so proud of you today. So it was all worth it. It was all worth it, guys. Thank you very much. We're over here now. The presentation of Brian Dolan. Right. Okay, on behalf of the, the county board, I'd like to first of all thank Karen Donner very much for. I'd like to thank Karen Donner very much for hosting today's final. It's nearly impossible to get clubs to in these times to host finals. So a big hand to Karen Donner for putting the facilities for here today. To our, macho, to our macho officials who have been great to us all through the, this whole period for the last thing, so to the referees, umpires, linesmen, thanks very much. What can I say but a fantastic game of football. This time 12 months ago there was no team on either team. And to see a team sheet today with almost 50 girls named uh, for the two teams really shows the hard work that's gone in behind the scenes in both clubs. Great to see. Keep at it, girls. I know it's been a difficult year. You are all gung-ho at the start of the year, getting ready to go, and all of a sudden then bang. But you stuck at it. Two great teams out there, some great players on both teams. Keep at it. It wasn't the ideal year, but you'll all be there come next year, and we'll be seeing you on lots of finals on the years to come. So all that's left for me to do is Nicole Gordon. Brian Dolan was was coming all ladies. Nicole Gordon back over to Brian. Nicole. I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, just want a big thank to all the clubs, Malin, RS, Karen. Know these tough times, like helping us adhere to all the guidelines and stuff, and making it possible for us to play all these games. Uh, making sure we all filled out the questionnaires and all that there. It really helped us. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to play. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough game coming down, to, especially to play Malin, and it was one of the toughest games that some of us have ever played in the same. Like we said, none of us had a team last year. Some of us had to go elsewhere, but it's so good to be able to, I know you still all agree, come back and play for your home club. Um, just want to say thanks to management, Susan, Danny, Olias, Amory, Nicola, everyone that was there. Um, we wouldn't have been able, like I said, 
um, especially Martin and all, Martin McColgan and all two for running a good show over there. Um, just want a big round of applause for Malin girls, girls. Uh, just three cheers, hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop, hooray. Thank you very much. Here's the call, enjoy the celebrations. We've got a quick wee word here with Liam. No. Let's give it two or three minutes. Liam, well done, Urs, first of all. Just want to give me a wee down, run down, a quick run down the stats, the end of the game. Yes. So, well, congratulations for us. Uh, very well deserved. Um, very strong performance. In that second half, Urs won 40% of their kickouts, with Malin winning 71% of theirs. Um, Malin's score efficiency from play was 30% and 66% from free kicks. Um, Urs had a score efficiency from play of 55% um, and a very, very strong performance and congratulations. Uh, back to Callum here to wrap up and thank you everyone. Thanks Liam. Great once again. Great game. I say we'll be cutting out soon but thank you for tuning in. Thanks to Pat, John, Danny, Liam and all the casting crew. Thanks to two teams. Great game. Over and out, thank you.